Every living organism needs energy in order to survive. Plants and animals use energy to grow, move, and carry out other life processes. Energy is passed from one organism to another when one animal eats another animal or plant. This flow of energy can be shown in a food chain. Almost all energy on Earth comes from the sun. Plants, which are also called producers, use the sun's light to produce energy. When an animal consumes a plant, some of the plant's energy passes into the animal. A food chain shows the passing of this energy with arrows. Animals that gain energy only from plants are called herbivores. Some examples are rabbits, deer, and caterpillars. Now, because the plant used some of the sun's energy to grow, the herbivore is not getting all the energy that the plant originally took in from the sun. Animals known as carnivores, such as tigers, snakes, and dogs, cannot get energy from plants. They must eat or consume other animals. Like before, we show the passing of energy from one organism to another using arrows. Because herbivores use some of the energy that is gained from the plant in order to move and grow, the carnivore is not getting as much energy by eating the herbivore as the herbivore did from the plant. So. As you can see with each step in a food chain, there is less and less energy available. Some organisms, like raccoons, bears, and humans, can get energy from either plants or animals. This type of organism is called an omnivore. Remember, arrows in a food chain show which direction energy is being passed. And the further a food chain continues, the less energy there is available for the next organism.